Hey everyone, it's Sandra. I'm back again with another video. I haven't recorded, I'd say in six months. It's been so long. So many things has happened since I last recorded. First of all, we moved. If you can't tell, this is completely different setting than my last video. My last video was the wedding update. I think it was back in October before my daughter's second birthday. We had the birthday, we moved, I got a new job. Everything so crazy. <laughs> There's so many things that's happening with the wedding now because we're getting close. We're four months out now. We have four months left till our wedding. So it's crunch time, in other words. So this video, I want to update you guys again on everything because so much is different. I have a huge box, another one of those Sterilite containers over here, full of stuff that you guys haven't even seen yet. All right, so let's just hop into it. I have gotten a lot more organized since the last video. Last video was just a bunch of ideas of what I wanted to do, but now I've actually gotten some of those ideas. Some of my ideas have changed, um, but now I have a little binder. It says, probably backwards to you, but it says wedding 2018. And it has everybody's addresses, it has stuff from the venues, just everything that I need paper-wise is in here, minus invitations. I actually do have my invitations. Um, in the last video, I was saying, oh, if I go cheap, I'll use these invitations. I wound up using those invitations. I printed them out, and they look really cute. We just got the hotel. We reserved a whole bunch of rooms for the hotel. I'm staying at the hotel. The, the wedding's on, on a Friday. I'm staying Thursday night and Friday night at that hotel. It's a nice hotel. It's Nothing crazy special, but we're excited about that. That's a whole nother step is getting the hotel reserved. So we also got our photographer. That was a huge step with us too. We have our engagement shoot in February, and in March we have our engagement party. I'm actually combining our engagement party and our wedding shower because we're procrastinators. So we waited till now to have any type of party for our wedding. So I have all these decorations and everything for that. And then I got a bunch of stuff for the wedding too. Let me just update you guys on some of the things. Sophia's birthday party was wonderful. Actually, we moved before her birthday party, so we actually had enough room for everybody. And I know that was one thing that I was really worried about because at the old house, I couldn't have all that room and it would have been bad. I would have had to have rented a place. So yeah, it was a hit and it was everybody seeing our house for the first time. It was almost like a housewarming party, but Sophia got a whole bunch of gifts and she loved it. For Dan's birthday, Dan's birthday was in January, and I threw him a surprise party, which, of course, it was on the biggest blizzard day of the year. The weather was terrible, but six of his friends showed up, so we had a good time. We played beer pong the whole night until, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, so that was fun. But now I'll show you what I have new. I'll try not to show you anything that I have already showed in the other videos. Over here we have the frame that I was talking about. I'm sitting on the floor, so this thing is pretty tall. I'm about up to here on it, so. I did the background with just paper because the background was really dirty and I didn't want, you know, for them to see the background. So I just covered it in paper. And then remember, I'm gonna do the, the pearls going across with, you know, tables, table numbers and everything. This is that board I was talking about. Probably can't read this, but it says 113 days until we say I do. So I thought that was cute. That's just the countdown. This is actually going to be the board that I use for the shenanigans thing. I'm going to actually write it out myself. So I'm, I'm pretty good at stuff like that. So I think it'll be fine. Everything in this container is everything that you guys already seen. It's almost empty. And this next box is full. So let's continue. First, I got my dress and I don't want to post a picture in the video just because I, a lot of my family members will watch this and I kind of want to surprise a few people. A lot of people have already seen my dress, so I think I want to keep it kind of like a secret right now. But I got this cute bride hanger. I'm going to hang my dress on this and, you know, take pictures, make it all fancy. I got this for $7 at Tuesday morning. I thought it was adorable. I had to get it. There was a matching groom's one. I did not get it, but I might go back and get it so he can have his tux, but I don't think he's really gonna care that much. Okay, and then I have just streamers. We were gonna go with black and gold, but we decided just to go with black and white um, for our theme for our engagement party. So we got black and white streamers, nothing fancy from the dollar store. Black and white 
napkins, black and white plates, more plates. So if you remember this that I bought uh, before I actually had it in the other video, I bought these to go with it so they're gonna like sit on it. They're chalkboard signs. I'm gonna write gifts and cards, you know, whatever, whatever I feel like writing on it. I have two of them. I got these for $3.99 a piece at Tuesday morning. A dollar store black table cover for the party. And I think so far that's it for the party. I do have stuff for the wedding, so we'll go into that now. I bought these from the dollar store. They come in 10, so they have 10 bracelets and then 10 of uh, the connectors. I got 200 of those, so I got a lot of these guys. I got this, which I was going to print out a sign for grab a glow stick, you know, and have fun on the dance floor kind of thing. I thought that would go cute with it. Again, a dollar at the dollar store. And it's nice. Like, it's not the worst looking frame I've ever seen in my life. So, these are my table runners. I have one open, so I'm not going to open these guys. But they're burgundy. They actually match my shirt. I didn't even notice that. Okay. So, yeah, they're table runners. They're really long. It's actually folded in half. I obviously have to iron it. I got my table runners. I got these off of the chair factory. They were like 70 cents a piece, so I grabbed them. I got 15 of them. Oh, and then forks were for the engagement party. Okay, so I got these for really cheap at Tuesday morning. These little pallets, like they're little, little tiny pallets. Like, I thought they were adorable. I thought I could write on them, you know, like, uh, 5 o'clock ceremony, 6 o'clock cocktail hour, 7 o'clock dinner, 8 o'clock dancing kind of thing. I thought that would be kind of cute, but I don't know if I have enough for all the tables, so I'm going to have to get either more of them or figure out something else. Okay, so my daughter's going to be the flower girl, and we went to Hobby Lobby, and we found this little flower girl basket. It is so cute, because my daughter's only two, so she's not, like, going to need a huge basket. She's probably going to be scared half the time anyway, so I just got her this. It was so cute. It says flower girl on it, and it's got, like, tulle all the way around. I thought that was really super sweet. What else do I have? For those, I got these at the dollar store, like, because she's probably not going to throw half of them anyway, so just red rose petals for her oh for the engagement party i got these from the dollar store i didn't even know they would have something like this i thought it was so cute it's little dresses they're favor boxes and little tuxes i don't know what i'm gonna put in it but they're really cute yeah i mean i have no idea what i'm gonna put in there maybe maybe chocolate i don't know <laughs> but they were cute so i had to buy them we got this guest book for $10. Super simple. We didn't want anything crazy. I wanted something small because I don't want it to take up a huge space in my house. I am going to keep it, so I don't want it to be too big. And there's only about like 120 people being invited, so not even 120 people showing up. So we just got this for $10 from Hobby Lobby. Simple guest book. Oh, I got this from Hobby Lobby too. The table numbers, 1 to 20 for 4 bucks simple. That's what I'm going with with my wedding. I got these from Hobby Lobby too. I thought this was super cute. They are Mr. and Mrs. signs. I was going to put these in front of where we're sitting at the head table. Just so people know that's where we're sitting. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be sitting there, but I thought they were a cute touch. They were from Hobby Lobby for six bucks. Okay, so last video I mentioned that I wanted to do fish bowls, but I completely changed that. I bought 15 fish bowls, so now I have 15 fish bowls that I don't need or want, and I changed it completely. I'm still keeping the flowers, so I still have the same sunflowers from the other video, but now instead I'm going to be doing a flower ball. And the flower ball is going to just sit in the center, maybe underneath the glass mirror with some votives next to them. I wanted to just do simple. I don't want anything crazy because the decorations aren't going to be what everybody is excited about. They're going to be excited about me and Dan. So I wanted to do just simple decorations. Nothing expensive, especially because our budget is small and our budget is already 
we're over our budget so everything I'm buying from now on is just gonna be s simple just forgot I have my shoes too I have to go get those doing like a ball of flowers on top of the candlestick holders I got I think I got 15 but they were from the dollar store I got all of these I don't have the balls for some reason nobody sells these styrofoam balls anymore so I have to like go to Hobby Lobby or something to get them and I don't even know if Hobby Lobby will have them. Um, so that's kind of something I'm worried about right now but if I cannot find these balls then I'm going to just go with the, the fish bowls because I need the balls in order to create the flower ball. But I'm sure I'll be able to find them. I'm just worried because it's crunch time, you know, so I want to get stuff done. One of the things I want to get done is the centerpieces and I'm like on halt because of the fact that I can't find these balls. And then I have these right here, these two. These were going to be with the glow sticks. I was going to put all the glow sticks in here and then all the small pieces in this one. So you just grab however many glow sticks you want and you can grab however many pieces you need for your glow sticks. Okay, so I have my shoes. They're simple. Not too big of a heel because I want to be comfortable and when I put these on, I could like run in them. That's how comfortable they were. And I got them half off because I bought a pair of gym shoes with them. So it was buy one, get one half off. And I was really excited about that. So I think these came down to like $15. You really can't beat that. Um, and they're super cute. They're actually like a pink color. I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of more white, but uh, like rose. I want to end it there. I do want to do more videos, maybe some updates. I don't know. I just kind of want to start back up again with my videos since I was MIA for a while. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch the videos of Dan's fast food reviews. All right, thanks. Bye.